No one in this entire universe has the authority or the right to judge me except for the universe, except for my spirits and God, the, the source of all creations. You know, I accepted my Lord Jesus Christ. I accepted my Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior and accepted him into my heart. And honestly, a lot of the people that might like to believe that they think that they know me, but they really, really don't. They don't. Honest to God. Because, you know, one of the commandments, one of the things in the Bible that said that, and he is without sin among you to cast a first stone. Which one of among you is without sin? Which one of you is absolute perfection? There's no one alive in mortality that is truly perfect, who is truly without sin. We, uh, we were forgiven for our sins, yes, but we have to find repentance within ourselves every single day of our lives, and that's what I do every day of my life, and I'm not about myself. Like I said, I'm about the rest of the world, whether if you believe that or not, I'm not here to impress you, finesse, and I'm not here to, I'm not, I don't choose to be alive despite my overthinking and depression and my blackened heart, and to be alive to impressing you, impressing anybody in my life, no. I mean, I create these videos, I put my voice out there, what you think about me, what you think about me, you know, one thing, don't ever try to fucking disrespect me. Throwing shots, disrespect me. You know, like I said, type shit, you go and play with your mama. Don't go fucking play with me. Don't come at me goofy and sideways and shit and be tripping up on me like that. Don't be no bullshit like that. Because I'm not about that life. I'm about the life where I command respect because I give you respect. I'm professional to everyone out here into the world when I step foot outside of my door I don't be beefing with nobody I don't drama I don't believe in no drama I don't believe in no bullshit I don't believe in materialistic shit I don't believe in nothing you know I have separated the transcendence of the ego from the materialistic humanistic flesh of the physical body so what you see is the outer outward appearance of the physical body but what lies deep within my soul my consciousness and the gateways of the primordial primordial existence is something ingrained is so much more greater and more tangible and alive than you could ever fathom in your in your entirety of your life your primitive little uh insignificant irrelevant little existence is so feeble and weak and fragile that it's incomprehensible your mind you have no intellect, you have no mind, you have no soul, you have no consciousness, you have nothing for you in your life, you know. And uh, I stand upon my business, I stand upon principalities, I stand upon the compass of my morality, my, my virtues, and everything that I embody into my life is who I am as a human being, my own personality, my own characteristics. And honestly, you know, like real talk, you know, like a lot of times, uh, people a lot like myself, who's brutally honest, forthright, have no filter, you know, we have a huge heart, and yes, I personally, and it's not considered a sin, but I do get attached to people, and this person in the comments is saying, oh, well, it's a sin that you get so attached in this, that, or the other, well, I mean, that's just the generosity in the nature of my heart being a good person, and I know myself, like I said, I know myself more than the next door neighbor or the person two blocks over, the homeless person roaming around in the streets or, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm just using an example, you know, and I know myself. I've got a huge heart. I, You know, if I had billions and millions of dollars, you know, I'd be like, I'd be the type of person I'd be out there putting money, vast money into the streets. I do everything in my power as a, as a soul collective, as a one individual, individualistic person to go out into the world to manifest positive changes, not just in my own personal life, but the lives of other people. And I feel like I incorporate and use technology to my advantage through these videos, my channel, to spread awareness, enlightenment, knowledge, you know, uh, to share my craft with the world and to being able to inspire, to influence other people. And, you know, for this person to sit there, judge me and act like that, that's so typical in human nature where people act like they're so perfect, they act like they're so much better than you when 
they act in they act like in the street terms, you know, in a, in a hood, in a ghetto where I'm from, their shit don't stink. So they be talking all that shit up. They be running off that mouth and they can't be fucking doing nothing else because that's what you are. You're a bitch. And I'm sorry, you're a straight up bitch. Come to me in the fucking streets and be talking that shit. <laughs> I guarantee you won't be fucking talking that shit because they, all they be doing is the keyboard warriors and shit. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. You know, shit. I'm real, man. You know, I'm just, I am who I am. Well, who you see on this camera is just who I am, you know. I don't be fronting. I don't be playing with people's hearts. I don't be manipulating nobody. I don't be beefing nobody. I don't do, I don't do shit. I don't do bullshit, you know. I mean, I'm not about that life. But a lot of time before in my past is when a lot of people, like, particularly some of these women, and I don't be disrespecting women like that. I don't be calling bitches, I don't be calling like, I don't be calling women like bitches and hoes unless they fucking really, truly type shit deserve it, you know? And I honestly, I'm just one of those people that you like me, you hate me, or both. It doesn't matter to me because I'm working currently on my manifestation of my life progressing myself, catapulting myself into, into the present as well as the future. I've got a lot of plans in my life. You know, I've been stacking up the paper, man. I've been chasing that racks, man. You know what I mean? No bullshit. But I have one goal in mind, one goal in mind, which is to change the world. So if you want to change the world with me, stick with me through the thick and thin and accept me or not. <laughs> Once again, I, I like I said, I, I really don't care. So... I mean, I'm not saying that to be arrogant or anything, but I lost myself before and I sacrificed myself ensuring the happiness of other people above myself. I lost myself by trying to please everybody else around me. I used to be passive aggressive, believe it or not, years ago when I was like here originally. But now, ever since yeah, I moved out to Alabama and I moved back here, moving in straight into the hood and the ghetto and being raised up in the, like little in a ghetto and shit, man, it, it fucking changes you. It changes your whole perspective and your mind and your mindset and mind frame. You know, it just alters everything. It puts you into this 24-7 survival mode that these little fucking snowflake liberal little fuckers on the comment section, you know, they don't type shit. They don't know nothing about so... You won't survive a less than a fucking week talking that kind of shit up in the fucking hood. Alright? So don't come at me like that shit. Don't be dissing on me like that and shit. Like, I'm not about disrespect, you know. Uh, I'm just the type of person, you know, I, I'm a ride or die type of person. So I match energies. So you come at me all goofy and stupid and shit sideways disrespectful like that, I'm gonna you know, bet your ass I'm finna be back like that, back up again. See, I can handle rejection well. I can handle rejection better than anybody else. But what I don't vibe with are people who are narcissistic or liars or manipulators, manipulate your emotions, lead you on to ghosting, to, you know, you know what I mean? And... Most recently, like I said, and I'm, you know, I can't handle people who have a severe crisis and addiction to alcohol. I can't handle people who, I can't handle people who cheat on you, to lie to you, disrespect you, 